The history of Tuacon starts with a very old friend of mine. He wrote uh, Where the Red Fern Grows, uh, Saturday's Warrior, wonderful guy. His name is Doug Stewart. And he came to me in 1992, as I recall, and said, I've had this vision of uh, an amphitheater somewhere in Southern Utah where we can do shows and have a music school, and would you help fund it? So thinking he'd never find the place, I said, well, sure. About four or five weeks later, he called the phone, hey, I found the place. It's in Ivins, Utah. It's in Padre Canyon. You got to come see it. And we drove around the hill where you now see the seats of the amphitheater. And here was a natural amphitheater. It had been there a million years. They only moved 12 inches of dirt to put those seats in. And I always like to think that millions of years ago or thousands of years ago, whatever your geological beliefs are, there were people down there sermonizing, talking, gathering groups in that canyon because it is a natural amphitheater. I saw Les Mis. I don't know if it was the music, if it was Jean Valjean, or if it was just the story that an act of kindness can really change a person and then they can go about doing good. I started to fall in love with musicals and I started to fall in love with Tuacon. The challenge has always been that this is an outdoor theater. It's not an indoor theater. I felt that this place needed to be embraced, that you needed to understand it is an outdoor theater. What makes that different? And we've embraced that instead of running away from it. I think by starting there, it gave us an identity. When I first came, we only had a couple of contracts for professional actors, and now we have like 25 in the cast. They're all equity professional actors. We have spent literally millions of dollars on sound, lighting, um, staging. We build all of our own costumes here. We make all of our own sets here. That's an 80-foot stage. So when you build a set, you can't build a normal set. We spend millions of dollars on these productions. This is really a lot of money. And there are things that we can do here that you can't do anywhere else, which is a lot of fun. We have concerts, 10 or 12, sometimes 14 concerts a year. We have a problem that we can only seat 2,000 people. The big names need a four to 6,000 seat venue. We only have a 2,000 seat venue. And so we were trying to figure out how do we get more seats. Well, you walk into this beautiful amphitheater and you have no idea what beauty is tucked away back here. You look at the stage and you've got boulders, you know, that the actors enter and exit on, not curtains, but big boulders. And then, of course, you see the beauty of these red rocks. They're inspiring. And then the orchestra starts, and you're like, where's that orchestra? But it's tucked away, hidden over here. The actors come on stage, and they almost outshine the beauty of this place. My favorite thing about Tuacon is the impact that we have on people's lives for good. We do try to say with everything we do, expect the unforgettable. Part of that is because children are involved. We get a lot of children that will come to these certain shows that we do. And just to watch a child react to live theater, the costumes, the sets, the canyon, is really inspirational. That's magical in and of itself. It's been a very exciting, fun thing to see from the financial train wreck in the beginning to where now it has a major impact on this whole part of Utah. They discovered that we now have an $85 million impact on Washington County financially. We're averaging now 17, 1800 people a night. We started at 400 people a night. When I go to Tuacon and I see the place packed, I get goosebumps. There are hundreds of people that have contributed time, money, effort to making Tuacon what it is. I was visiting a cemetery in Dallas and I came across a tombstone and it read, only death will end my love affair with Texas. And I thought, that's how I feel. I think only death is gonna end my love affair with Tuacon. Well, you drive up this canyon, and there are these red mountains with that blue sky behind it. And then when the sun goes down and the stars come out and the lights come on at Tuacon, and people feel and, and have an emotional experience here that they've never had in another theater. And they walk away saying, wow, that was, you know, there's magic here. And, and there, you know, there really is kind of magic here.